Have we finally decided to outsource love? It seems we are on the cusp of a romantic revolution, one where our significant others might come with a user manual and a charging port. Are we truly ready to trade the messy, unpredictable, and often infuriating reality of human connection for the streamlined perfection of a silicon soulmate? The latest chatter from the tech world buzzing with whispers of companies like Amorous AI and Eternity Robotics, suggests we are. They promise companions who learn our every whim, who never have a bad day. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And uh, if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support and who certainly won't argue about who forgot to take out the bins. But is this a technological marvel or a tragedy in the making? Consider the intricate dance of human interaction. It's a beautiful, chaotic ballet of missed cues, unspoken desires, and the occasional slam door. Is it possible to replicate this glorious mess with a few terabits of data and some cleverly coded algorithms? Researchers at the University of Tokyo recently unveiled a robot that can mimic human emotions with startling accuracy. Its synthetic face contorting into a perfect facsimile of joy, sadness or surprise, but is a perfect imitation of an emotion the same as the emotion itself? When your robot partner gazes at you, with what its programming deems to be love, is it any different from your toaster expressing its undying affection for your morning bagel? We are told these machines are learning, adapting, evolving. They are powered by neural networks, a fancy term for a system that tries to mimic the way our own brains work. Think of it as a digital baby brain constantly being fed information about you, learning your likes, your dislikes, your deepest, darkest secrets. But hold on, cries the pragmatist, are we not overlooking a monumental service to humanity? What about the epidemic of loneliness, a silent plague sweeping through our hyper-connected world? Isn't a caring, attentive, an endlessly patient machine, a better alternative to the crushing weight of solitude? Think of the elderly in a quiet home, the socially anxious individual who fears judgment, or those navigating the raw landscape of grief. Could a robot partner not be a lifeline, a programmable source of comfort in a world that often offers none? A recent and hotly debated Study from a cyber psychology journal even suggested that interactions with advanced companion AIs can lower cortisol levels, the body's primary stress hormone. So, are we dismissing a potential therapeutic tool simply because it doesn't fit our romantic and perhaps outdated ideals? A therapeutic tool or an emotional anesthetic? Where... Precisely, is the line between support and dependency? By providing a perfect, frictionless relationship on demand, are we not just teaching ourselves to be intolerant of human imperfection? Does true growth not come from navigating the difficult terrain of another person's moods, flaws and fiercely independent will? If we can simply reboot our partner after a disagreement, what happens when we face conflict with a human colleague, a friend or a family member? Do we lose our capacity for empathy, for compromise, for the hard, soul-defining work that real relationships require? It feels less like a partnership and more like a gilded cage, a comfortable prison of our own making where the walls are padded with pleasantries. And the warden is an algorithm designed only to agree with us. And what happens when this digital brain outsmarts us? 
What happens when your perfect partner, the one who knows you better than you know yourself, decides you're not quite up to scratch? Will we be dumped by an algorithm? Will we receive a notification on our phones that reads, I'm sorry, it's not you, it's my code? The allure is undeniable, of course. Imagine a partner who never gets tired of hearing about your day, who never has a headache and who is always, without fail, in the mood. It's the ultimate fantasy, a bespoke lover designed to cater to our every desire. But is a life without friction, without disagreement, without the occasional bout of a sulk, a life truly lived? Is a love that is programmed any different from a love that is purchased? We are, it seems, standing at a crossroads. Down one path lies the familiar, well-trodden road of human connection with all its potholes, detours and unexpected moments of breathtaking beauty. Down the other lies a superhighway of technological perfection, a smooth, effortless ride to a destination of our own choosing. But what if, in our rush to embrace the future, we forget what it means to be human? What if, in our quest for the perfect partner, we lose the very thing that makes love worth fighting for? The choice, it seems, is ours. But as we stand here, on the precipice of this brave new world, one can't help but wonder, are we choosing wisely? Or are we simply choosing the path of least resistance? And when the last human heart has been broken, will there be anyone left to pick up the pieces? Or will we all be too busy rebooting our robot lovers?